You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of McMahon, Wildridge versus Swan Williams. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Ms. McMahon and Ms. Wildridge, in your previous appearance in our courtroom, you learned your deceased dad had kept a secret from you your entire lives. Yes, Your Honor. It turns out that he had cheated on your mother and you discovered that a good friend of yours was actually your biological sister. Yes, Your Honor. Today, you're back because you say your father may have had an affair with yet another woman. Correct, Your Honor. We'll soon learn if her son is your biological brother. Yes. Miss Swan, you're the woman who claims to have had an affair with their father. You admit that you kept it a secret because he was a married man. Yes, Your Honor. You believe your son was a result of that relationship and he is indeed their brother. Yes, Your Honor. Your son, Mr. Williams, is waiting outside of the courtroom and we'll meet him in just a moment. Ms. McMahon, how did you find out that you may have a brother you never knew of? Yes, Your Honor. Well, back in 1999, I was shown a picture. Um, I was at a... At someone that we considered a cousin because we were so close growing up. We were at their house and I was shown a picture of a little boy. I think he probably had to be about seven at that time. Um, I was told that it was my brother. Um, I looked at the picture, but I didn't see any resemblance. So at that time, I just passed it off as something that they were trying to say and I never thought about it again. Um, but in 2001, there was someone that showed up at my mom's house and he claimed to be my dad's son. And at that particular time, um, I was not at the house at the time, but my other sisters and my mom got a chance to meet and talk to him. And uh, my sister Gloria was there and she actually got a chance to meet him. Yes, you did. Honor. Ms. Uh, Wilders, explain what happened on that day. Well, a few days before we did see him, um, my sister had said, well, we think possibly this guy could be your brother. So um, the next few days, he came over to my oldest sister's house and he met my oldest sister and my mom and I kind of hung in the back a little bit and then I went out and I greeted him. When I first seen him, he didn't have any similarities uh, of my father. So they sat and we talked a while in the living room and we had a little conversation and he left. And from then on, I just kind of let it go. It didn't really come back to me until, you know, just now. And in your mind, your parents were a happily married couple. That's, That's right, what right. you knew. That's well, right. we, well, <clears throat> ma'am, Your Honor, we were young. We knew that there were problems, but we were too young to understand the full spectrum of what had been going on. We have heard that he could have been sleeping with another woman, but we didn't know about Miss Swan. Miss Swan. Yes, Your Honor. So, you did have a relationship with their father. Yes, Your Honor. Did you know he was married? Yes, Your Honor, because when we first mm -hmm. met one another, he told yes. me he was married. But, but why, why would you, you still mess with a married I man? I, I... Why, would, why would you do that? And, and not, that only was he a, not only was he a married man, but you were also messing with a guy that you knew was messing, messing with your with neighbor. Your friend, your and neighbor. that was your friend. You know, and that was just like, did, I don't, did you sleeping behind uh, uh, with a married man and you sleeping behind your friend's man or your neighbor man, why would you do such a thing as being a woman? But see, I didn't, I know he was married, but I didn't know he was sleeping around with no other uh, woman or nothing. But... All that didn't come up. Well, no you said when the relationship started, you did know he was married. Yeah, he told me he was married. Okay, and you still... And so, decided then to have... a sexual relationship developed? Not at the first. Not okay. at the first. Explain, how did it turn into a it, sexual it... relationship? Way a, a, a good while. It was a it was a long time before we had any re, uh, relationship. Uh, I say about a, uh, a month passed or something like that. It passed, and that's what uh, um, after that. Month. So, did, did do you feel bad for what you've done to a family, a wife, 
a, a good wife, a good, a good wife. wife who cooked, cleaned, took care of her kids. How, do you feel any remorse for what you've done? Knowing that he was married? Knowing that he was married. That part didn't even bother me. Yeah. And you was yeah. of age and, and where it should have, you're you know. You're not with woman. a child. You were just low so, and dirty and trifling. So that's hold what on. you were, and apparently you still are that way if you don't have no remorse for what you've done. Hold on, Miss Swan. You said that part didn't bother you. No, the reason I said that is because once, uh, okay, you told, uh, a married man told you he was married. Okay, I didn't keep on after the man. But as a woman, you could you say no. He was married. And you could have turned away. You could even told my if mom. If you were decent, hey, you would well, have been no to me. Miss Swan, how many years did this affair last? A uh, year and a half. About a oh, year, year and a and half. half. Ma'am, I, 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 I don't, I don't know. know. You, you go from one extreme to the other, because mm -hmm. from what I've heard was 29 years, I heard 10 years, now it's a year and a half. You have to make up your mind as to <laughs> how, how long I this affair, the affair lasts. Was. And I, I don't know... The affair lasted a while, that's all I can say. Because I, I can't remember the years and how long it was. I don't remember none of that. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. So you attempted to name your son after their father. Right. Well, you didn't attempt, you did. His, you named him Ellis. Right. And that was their father's name. Right. And so, when was the last time you saw their father? The last time I saw their father, he left my house and he got fuzzed the driveway. And he got out of his car and told me he'll see me in heaven. And that was the end of it. That's the last time I seen him. He'd see you in heaven. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't think y'all gonna and... be in heaven. If... <laughs> yeah, <isn't it? laughs> I don't think. And you, you saying you're not remorseful? You, <laughs> you, I don't and think thing you're gonna is... meet. Y'all meet somewhere, but it won't be in heaven. Yeah, and I think that the thing was that he was kind of feeling remorseful for the things that he was doing, and that's why he kind of like and gave so up living. How... In what proximity was the last time you saw him till when he passed away? That night. That night? Because I... That night when he left my house, a friend of mine came by and told me uh, he was dead. What? Well, he didn't die my, at yeah, night. My dad was, was, found, he was found deceased, deceased at 5.30 in the yes. morning. Oh, well, my I'll mom see. was getting up to fix him breakfast, and she thought that he was just staying sleeping there, in. sleeping, sleeping in. Well, and when I she went to go that. wake him up and tell him that breakfast was ready, my dad had passed. I think... Um, I think it came to him to where he was emotionally drained. That's, that's what some of his friends was telling us. Like, he was emotionally drained, and he felt that his time was up. Yes, I, I just believe that, that all of these... All of his busy work had really gotten... It to caught him. up with him. It, it caught up to him. So, Miss Swan, did your son ever meet the man you say is his father? No. Never met him? No. Yeah, so, so you're destroying more lives. You, you yeah. pretty much let him so meet his dad. I, 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 his I, dad. Didn't st I didn't stop him from not meeting his dad. Okay. So, Miss Swan, I have to ask you, and this is respectfully, but were you intimate with anyone else during the time you were intimate with their father? Where there could potentially be another biological father of your son? Not that I... No, ma'am. Well, Your Honor, she's saying no, but if she's sleeping with a married man, she didn't think enough to, to be respectful of herself and sleep with a married man. I, yes. I, 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 can, I can guarantee you that there may be more, more men awesome. if let's, she's let's, sleeping let's with married out men your son, and thinking that it's Jerome, okay to do so. you please escort Mr. Williams into the courtroom? Thank you. Mr. Williams? Yes, ma'am. How you doing? Thank you so much for joining us today. You know, we're here discussing, of course, the very sensitive subject surrounding your paternity and um, the plaintiff's late father. It is asserted that he is perhaps your biological father. Yes, ma'am. Now, we asked your mother, had you ever had an opportunity to meet this man? I remember certain things of him, but I don't remember too much. I remember the van that he had, and I remember riding in this van and some noises they used to make with the little horns and everything. But 
my dad fixed on cars yes. and he used to modify all his vehicles. That was one of his things. He used to build things very handy person. So that van, that big green van, you're right. Uh, yes. So the van he's that, speaking that is of, correct. it was your father's. Mm -hmm. Yes. When you look at Mr. Williams, wow. Do you see your father? Yes. Aww. Yes. Aww. Yes. And you know, Your Honor, I can't really tell you how I feel about it because in a point, <laughs> I know. Well, you, Your Don't. Honor, I, I would just like to say that I'm angry, I'm that, she had angry an affair. that he had an affair on my mom because that's the only person that hurt here. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, when he came in 2001, my mom accepted him. She said that that was not his fault. Yeah, she was. You know, like he was she an accepted child. him. She was because so she said he was innocent in his whole thing. I've never gotten a chance to meet him. Yeah, and that's a shame because we have to grow. <gasps> We grew up without, and it's just, we're 30 something years old. We already lost a sister, and now, we're you know, we have to have a relationship now and start right now. And, and there's too much time that already them been passed, you know? And it's not, it's not, it's not our fault. It's, no, it isn't. It, it's we didn't not. know, and it's not Mr. his Williams, fault. Did you ever have the chance to bond or to find a connection with your late father? I always talk to him in my head. I used to go to his grave site and, and sit there a lot. You did? Yes, ma'am. So you went to his grave? Yeah, I, I went a lot, a lot. So this was, I'm sure, very emotional. Did your mother go with you? Uh, nah, not at the times I was going. Did she know you were going? Yeah, I done told her a couple times. And that would help you feel closer to him? Yeah, like I say, I always talk to him in my head and, you know, I know it's someone up there watching over me, so. And they say you look like their father. Do you believe you look like? Uh, my mother used to tell me that all the time, but I don't remember his face or nothing. You don't remember his face? Mm -mm. He Have got you his ever mouth. seen a picture of him? No, ma'am. Yes, you've his never, ears for yes, sure. his in ears, 32 his years, mouth. you've never in 32 years seen a picture of your father. Wow. You robbed him. You really did. Yes, I did, because I didn't have no pictures of him. And that was my fault, because I, I um, on one of my faults, because I didn't take no picture of him. But he never did like taking no pictures. They never did like But you no could at least yeah. came to us. You knew who my mom was. You knew who the people was. I you didn't, didn't know, know your mama. Was well, I did not I, know your mama. You knew my mama. You knew my mama face. You didn't see my mama. No, you done I... been in her company. And I probably been in her you, company, you, but you I knew, didn't know that's people. who it you was. You knew how to get in touch with us. You could have got yeah. in touch with us. You know what I'm saying? Even though it was, it seemed like it wasn't a mistake to you, you don't feel any remorse for it, but you could have been like, th there's a possibility more than what he, he done, he came to us. So, as you stand there and the plaintiffs look at you and say you look just like their father, would you like to see a picture of the man oh. okay. that you believe is your father? Yes, ma'am. Ms. McMahon, Ms. Wilders, is that okay? That's because fine. you submitted one fine. in the he court. Need to. He, he needs need to. He needs to. Okay. Look at that mouth. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the ears. Look at the ears. <laughs> mm, mm, you see mm. yourself in that picture? I, I, I don't... <laughs> <laughs> I think so. I, I really... Yeah, yeah I, 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 I do. He probably don't... Th you know what I'm saying? It's a whole lot to soak in, but I do. How do you feel? It's the first time. It's a lot going on inside of me right now. Yeah, it has <laughs> to be, you know. I wish he was here. Yeah. But it's nothing that I could take from her for what she done for me, you know. She bent over backwards for anything that I, I need or want. And as a mother, that's what she was supposed to do. That's Jerome, I think it's time we go to the results. <sighs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics 
and they read as follows. In the case of McMahon, Wildridge v. Swan Williams, pertaining to whether Ellis Williams is the half-sibling of Danette McMahon and Gloria Wildridge. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. It has been determined by this court that you are half siblings. <laughs> you knew it. Now he needs to go get his name changed. He's a junior. He's the only boy. The only boy. The only boy that we know of. So how does it feel today, Mr. Williams? Uh, it's a lot lifted off of me. Yeah. Now I know for sure, you know, and I really would like to have a copy of that picture. Absolutely. All of, all of the pictures that, that we have, we can make you copies. I can put them on CD for you, everything. Yeah. And I, I, we want you to come by. Yeah. <laughs> we want you to keep in contact. We want everything. Yeah. I get to have somebody to pick on. <laughs> Don't you know I've been picked on for so many years? I get to have somebody to pick on. But not by me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit. Yeah. Well, family, this was such a wonderful ending. Yes. yes. I'm so happy for you. Yes. Take yes. care. Court is adjourned. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. When I heard the results, I was relieved, of course, and I'm happy. I'm happy. This is my dad all over again. All over again. It's <laughs> like giving us a piece back. He was, we were so young when he passed, and it's like looking at my daddy all over again. You know, this is, this is a, like a missing piece. I feel good to know that I'm accepted now. <laughs> I ain't saying they didn't accept me, but at the same time, we ain't grow up together. So now that we are grown now, we can live our life together now. <laughs>